Hi there! Your weekly tarot cards reading by M, but before I start, I would like to tell you something. I do have quite a few requests for, for uh, private readings, and let me just tell you, go to my description box, and there is this Fiverr link, okay? Just click on that Fiverr link, it will take you further, step by step, and you can place your order. Now your weeklies. Hi Gemini! This is your weekly day-by-day -day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning 1st of November 2021. So two cards per day for every day of this week. It's Monday, the 1st of November for you, Gemini. Strength. Tuesday, Queen of Pentacles. Wednesday, Six of Cups. Thursday, Eight of Pentacles. Friday, Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and, uh, and Temperance, okay. Eight of Cups, your influencing energy. All right, I'm gonna comment on it just now. So, Strength, Page of Weed, Page of Swords, Queen of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups on Wednesday with a Death, Eight of Pentacles with Queen of Pentacles Thursday, Five of Pentacles Friday with the Queen of Cups, Two of Swords Saturday with the Hierophant and Temperance Sunday with Six of Pentacles. All right, Eight of Pentacles, you've got repeated here, okay? Eight of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. And in general, we have quite a few Pentacle cards in here. Um, Gemini is something around your skills, something around your work, your studies, something that you are diligently doing, okay? Something that is your profession, your skill work, something that you did the master. Very present from last week even, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of cups somewhere last week perhaps you have decided to leave this way of work that what you do you're not gonna do it anymore that way you used to do your job your business in a certain way now you realize there is not enough money or it's too much work you have to change modalities because you're never gonna have this emotional fulfillment okay you are limited in a way in here okay with that type of work you can only make so much money okay or it's very tiring or it's very demanding. Something was problematic here with the way you do your job and you were not pleased with it. You might actually resign from your place of work. Okay, somewhere last week, that is decision about it, even maybe resignation placed. With this energy, this, this, I don't know, expansive energy, you have to do something for yourself, something better, something more enjoyable, something happier, using same skills, same knowledge, just in a better way, okay, more productive way or so. Now, Strength Energy and Page of Swords on Monday. Page of Swords always changes mind. So Gemini, perhaps on Monday you changed your mind about that type of work that you do or you did change your mind about something you believed okay this one is always referring to something that you thought of you thought that these things is like this or this person is like that or this job supposed to be like this now you've got that information okay something that is just needed that you didn't have you couldn't have a right vision right idea right thought okay right understanding without that piece of information now there is that piece of information arrived on monday now so now you know now you are clear about it this is truth it's gonna change your opinion about the situation people jobs about something forever okay now you know and strength energy shows you in the outer world okay shows you out there you want to show yourself as somebody who is who is in control perhaps you might find yourself a little bit surprised okay with that what you heard with that change that is on your mind right now you know now you don't want to say that you've been in doubt that you've been in wrong that you didn't understand you don't want to say it okay you will just confirm 
yeah, I, I absolutely thought like that all the time. I knew it all the time. I'm having it under control. It doesn't change my life. It doesn't change much. In that sense, like you are having it under control. You know what is going on. Strength energy out there is always a bit of a show off. To me, always shows a little bit of insecurity when you have to laser focus to show yourself certain and knowledgeable and in control. You are afraid to show your uncertainty, okay? Your mistakes or something like that. Queen of Pentacles with Three of Pentacles. Now, now we are talking, okay, from Eight of Pentacles. Now we are moving into this Three of Pentacles change of situation. Now, if you wanted to change something with your work, okay, that is what are you doing? You want to do something more enjoyable. Three of Pentacles talks about something much more enjoyable. It is, again, about skill. This is mastering. You know how to do. You do have routine. But somehow that doesn't bring enough money or it's, it's exhausting. In a way, something is wrong there. It's not, it's not complete fulfillment for you. Now, Three of Pentacles is new energy. It's something that, you, that you're just beginning with, but it's much more enjoyable. You are perhaps doing things with other people. Perhaps this is new place of work. This is maybe your boss. Queen of Pentacles is very bossy one. Okay, could mean your boss, direct boss. But that one is very caring one. Queen of Pentacles always, ca always cares about people, like mother. Now, this job that this person is offering or you are doing, you know, something with this person, Capricorn or, or Virgo or maybe Taurus person, or as I said, just somebody who is business mind, caring, careful, diligent, grounded business mind out there, you are enjoying working with this person, okay, on Tuesday. It gives you joy and you are liking it. It changes your approach towards your work, towards that what you do, what you used to do earlier on in a different way, okay, way you didn't like. Now, this way, of doing this job, this way of doing the very same thing, perhaps, it's much more enjoyable, it's much better for you. Okay, um, Gemini, it could also mean a different line of work that you're not going to do, okay, you, this, this job anymore. You've got your skill, but you're not going to do it because you don't like it anymore. Okay, you've been doctor, you were doctor till now, and you're not going to do it anymore because you don't like it. It's demanding and it takes toll on you and you cannot do it anymore. Now you're going to be beautician. Okay, you're going to have your salon and you're going to be beautician. You're going to enjoy being with people and, you know, chatting and so. You see what I'm saying? I'm just giving an example. Could be that it's a completely different line of work now. This is your skill. Yes, you, you have knowledge. You've got skill. You've got skill. You've been doing things for ages. But if you don't like it, if you're not happy there, you're not happy. Now, Tuesday said you are changing it for something that is much happier, much more suitable for you. Some Another person, very much instrumental, they very important, caring for you, guiding you in a way on Tuesday. Now, Wednesday with Six of Cups and Death. You're definitely going to leave behind something that's your past. Even if you enjoyed it, even if you liked it, since your childhood, you're not going to do it anymore. You're not supposed to build your future on something that belongs to your past. Okay, and, and Wednesday, it seems to me, is just about that. That sort of acknowledgement. You are not building your future with something that belongs to your past. You are just leaving it behind and you are marching into your future with something else. You are transitioning whatever that was in the past. It was happy. It was nice, maybe. But you're going to leave it for something else. You are ready. You are on to it. Finishing with your past. Doesn't matter if you have fondest memories about it. Past is past. Get out, look into your future. In that sense, your Wednesday. No. Thursday come, comes very, very strongly. Again, I think it's just extension of that Tuesday. 
Look, the very same person again on Thursday, this Queen of Pentacles, now with Eight of Pentacles. It, it seems you will carry on improving, okay, your skill, you will carry on doing something else or your skill in a different way. You are changing place of employment, perhaps. Um, some, some change around your skill work, around your employment, around your money making. Definitely present this week, Tuesday and Thursday particularly. The very same person, somebody is very instrumental, stands by you, okay, helping you, guiding you, okay, with this skill, with this job, this how you're going to do, this is the way, this you're going to change, this you're going to keep. You see what I'm saying? That kind of, you will have somebody out there, that's for sure, guiding you, helping you, transitioning yourself from one way of doing things into another but we are talking your practical applications into this world uh, your money making your skill work in that sense five of pentacles with the queen of cups it seems to me you will by friday understand that you will forever forever get out of this of this poor situation always lacking something lacking money lacking support you were always all by yourself you know unsupported never enough money feeling very poor you will finally understand on friday you are getting out of it five means change and you are pleased with yourself Looking in this cup now, finally you are celebrating, you're receiving this trophy, you are succeeding, you are very, very pleased with yourself. That's why I really think that you are changing situation here for the better. That's your Friday. This is very passive, very pleased, very harmonious, very balanced energy. Emotionally, you know, very balanced. Being happy with yourself, with your state of being, with the place that you found yourself in, with what future is bringing for you. You see what I'm saying? Being pleased with yourself on Friday. This definitely means that you are out of the woods. You are out of some situation that was really unpleasant for you out of situation where you were lacking money, uh, you were dependent on another or so on. You are very pleased with yourself, with your state of affairs. Now, two of swords and the hierophant. Now, the hierophant is within you and talks, talks about some sort of delays, but things that are coming your way and for sure, okay, being very faithful, believing, knowing in a way, okay, that kind of energy with the Hierophant, knowing it. State of faith is such a such powerful that you know that it's going to be, you know that it's going to happen for you. And look, you might not want to talk about it, okay, or um, perhaps it's just that premonition, just faith that good times is coming for you. And you cannot even say what exactly it is going to be because this one is on a crossroad, you know, this or that way. But faith is there. Whichever way that you go, you'll be fine. Might actually um, show a little bit of fear out there or secrecy, okay? You not wanting to talk about, you know, your faith, your beliefs, okay? About your future that you don't want to see, you don't want to talk about that, you don't want to bring it up, you don't want other people to know, to see, to discuss with you, to, you see what I'm saying, kind of fearing, fearing other people, fearing your surrounding, what they're going to say, what they're going to do to you, if they know what you are hoping uh, to achieve, what you are faithful about, what you think that is going to happen. Because the Hierophant talks about some sort of delays and I did um, separate this temperance because both of these are suggesting some sort of delays. But both of them are suggesting something that is a natural for you. It doesn't scare you. Okay, you do understand, you're comfortable here because you are very faithful, being very patient, 
Okay, because you know that is coming. Your time is coming, is there, and you are heading towards it. And whatever that is happening right now, because something is out there, situation out there is not ripened yet. Okay, somehow you are waiting for this go ahead, you are waiting for your green light, or for some, some situation to develop out there. Maybe you depend on another person, and, and life on that person is somehow... I don't know, in fluctuation, and you are waiting for that person to stabilize themselves, and then you will move forward on your own. You see what I'm saying? Something in your surrounding is unknown, and it's supposed to happen. You are waiting for something out there. That's for sure. Things around you have to happen first. You are of a secondary, in, in, in a sense, if I can say that, Gemini. Something out there has to happen. You are waiting for it. And then, and then you will move forward. But that, that is certainty. That's for sure. Okay, you are moving forward. You will have a happier life. You will um, have abundant love. You'll be independent and so on. Things are for sure for you. You are very faithful. You know it's coming. It's only, only. You are not going forward with anything unless or until these circumstances or this situation out there develops in a certain way or it's finishing in a certain way. You see what I'm saying? Out a situation is something that you depend on. You cannot influence that situation, but that situation is influencing you, okay? It's actually um, something compulsory, something that has to happen before you do something with yourself in that sense. Now, lovely six of uh, pentacles. It seems to me you will be there for somebody, for another one who is in need. I, I, I really feel that it is about somebody out there who is meaningful to you. Like um, your child has to finish the schooling and then you can move on with your, with your job. You can work then full time. You see what I'm saying? In that sense, you are waiting for that person, for somebody else to do something, to sort themselves out. Somebody else is very important. You cannot move on until that situation with another person is sorted out and you are engaging in that sense to help, to push, to be there for this person in that sense. Whatever this person is needed, you will be there for this person, okay? Just to push it, to help it because you, you kind of your decision, your life is kind of dependent on that situation, on that person, on another person's destiny. You kind of, you kind of connect it. Otherwise, lovely week for you. I really believe it, it is about your money making, your career, your work. You are changing something there. And I, I really believe very successfully, okay, you might face some sort of delays, but these delays are not uh, something that you don't know about. You are very much aware of it and you accepted it in a way. Enjoy it, Gemini.